Hello, this is Kent from the Technology Department. I want to show you some of the features that we are including on all the new iPads purchased in the district. Um, we are requiring a new mobile device management license just like we do for the Chromebooks. What this MDM license provides is our ability to add some more controls to the iPads that we distribute to the students in the district. One of the things you'll notice on this iPad, it's got a lot of the basic apps that are loaded on an iPad, but we've gotten rid of things that students don't need to be playing with. One of the good things on here, for instance, is we'll go into settings. One constant problem we had is students signing into iCloud. You'll notice iCloud is grayed out. iTunes in the App Store is also grayed out. Your students won't be able to sign in with a personal account and start downloading apps. What we do with this mobile device management license is set up a library of applications per school that are downloaded only to the serial numbers of the iPads themselves. So you see this is an iPad that we're distributing to Pinehurst Elementary. It's got several apps preloaded on here in addition to the standard Apple apps. You'll see the ABC Mouse, Chatter Kids, Imagine Learning, um, and Seesaw. To see the app catalog for the iPad, you click this Meraki MDM System Manager app. I just have to wait for it to start up. It does some quick checks to make sure it's enrolled and compliant. And then along the bottom of the screen where you see Home, Backpack, and Apps, you'll click on the Apps icon. And at the top, it shows you the loaded applications. All along the bottom where it says Missing, these are apps that have been added to the catalog that are available to download on this iPad without having to sign into iTunes. You'll see in this case, so we'll say, let's take first grade math and numbers. You click on the cloud icon just like you would on a normal app in the iTunes store. And you'll have to wait a moment. It's, it's always has to download. And then it will start the downloading process. And we'll click back to the screen, the home button, and you'll see it's now load, loading that app onto the iPad. What this will allow you to do is the school can have a whole catalog of apps that are available but not have to have them loaded all the time and also not have to go through all those iTunes logins and logouts like we had to do before. Let it keep loading here. While that's loading, I'll also demonstrate something else here. One of the things, say you don't need ChatterKit anymore. You need to save some room on this iPad and load some additional apps. So you can do the normal long hold on an app and click the X, delete that app, now, if a student had deleted that accidentally, all you would have to do, go back into the Systems Manager, and you'll see it'll take a moment to update, and it probably will wait to update before it, uh, it has to update with the mobile device management and check back in. But ChatterPix Kids will then become available in the missing catalog below, and then you would just click the cloud icon like you would for any other app in the catalog. And then it would go and pull it back down. It's pulling down. We're, we're hitting the wireless pretty hard doing the airplay here, so this might be a little too slow to load. But those are the basics of adding and removing apps. We're setting up a procedure with the diffs to request new apps, just like requesting an, an unblock request for a website. Um, we need to make sure that the apps don't have inappropriate ads, they don't have in-app in purchases, and those kind of things. So that's what we'll be adding to all the new iPads being distributed to the schools. Um, that license is good for the entire life of the iPad, which in this case will be four years. And we will be able to finally manage these and not have to wipe them and reset them every summer. Thank you.